Greetings, adventurers. Today's video is sponsored by Rose Forever. Rose Forever is a company based in New York that specializes in long-lasting bouquets of real natural roses. They use natural oils to preserve 100% natural fresh flowers, and the bouquets are handcrafted by professional rose artisans. Their roses come in round, square, and heart-shaped boxes with different textures like velvet, suede, marble, and a crystal clear box. You can get them in different sizes from 9 to 49 roses, and they even have a single rose in a mini box. They also have a special Ecuador collection made with the best quality roses from Ecuador. Their roses are vegan and allergen-free, and they deliver worldwide. So, this is the bouquet that they sent me back in January, so five months ago. And it still looks just as pristine as the day that I opened it. None of the roses have started to show any sort of wilting or any browning or anything like that. They still look beautiful. But they're real roses, so they still smell beautiful. They're just as dainty and fresh looking as the day that I got them. So, if you would like your own bouquet of Rose Forever roses for a special occasion, for a gift for someone, or just as a beautiful centerpiece in your own home, you can use the code WHISPERWIND25 to get $25 off your purchase. The link is in the description down below. So, thank you to Rose Forever for sponsoring this video, and thank you for watching. trouble if you ask me. It won't be too long, mark my words, before he is in a heap full of trouble. Mm -hmm. I just know it. All right, here's that moonflower tea, darling, that I told you about. Yes, absolutely. Take this every night before you go to bed. I guarantee your dreams will be most insane. <laughs> Yes, of course, darling, any time. <laughs> Ta -ta. <sighs> yes, you should still be cooking with your little I need to get you some water soon. Oh! Well, hello there. First time here in Hazel Bend, right? <laughs> no, don't worry about it. You, um, you look a bit, um, dazed, if you don't mind me saying. Just a bit overwhelmed by the general everythingness of Hazelbent. It is quite a lot on your first trip here, isn't it? Not to worry, darling. We love tourists here. <laughs> they help keep our city afloat. Yes. I, I must warn you, there are quite a few people around here who, unfortunately, are less than honest. Mm -hmm. did, you, did you see that plant merchant that you passed before walking in here? Yes, she says that she sells the most fascinating exotic plant seeds, and she has all of these wonderful plants around. And they, they are quite lovely. They're from an herbalist not too far from here. But the seeds that she actually sells you or just the common bell pepper plant. Mm -hmm. She makes this big show about how to take care of them and all that. And then when you get home and plant them and grow them yourself, all you're left with is a lot of peppers. Not that peppers aren't lovely, of course, but um, when you're paying for something special, you want something special. But you have made an excellent decision for your first time here in Hazelbend. You have walked into the finest tea shop in the whole city. In fact, I would say 
personally, the only tea shop worth anything in this whole city. Anywhere else that you go, they are just going to sell you some hot, boiled leaf juice and call it tea. Here, at the Golden Leaf, we sell handcrafted artisanal blends of beautiful herbs and plants to stimulate the senses, excite the palate, and refresh the soul. Excellent choice. A menu. <laughs> This is certainly your first time here, isn't it? It's all right. It's all right. It's, it's a perfectly reasonable, reasonable request. But um, we do things a little differently here at the Golden Leaf. You see, I am the one who has spent years and years and years of my life studying different plants, different herbs, different blends of different things that do different things to the body and can help to find that restorative balance to someone's soul. I'm the one who studied all of that for years, painstakingly creating the most beautiful blends of flavor and medicinal benefits. So why, when you walk into my shop, would I trust you to make a decision about what sort of tea you need? No, 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 darling. You don't know what kind of tea you need. I know what kind of tea you need. Well, I will soon. Besides, all of life is full of all sorts of decisions that we need to make. Every single day we make so many decisions. And um, some of them, of course, may seem a bit insignificant, but even the most seemingly insignificant decision can change the course of our lives. It's quite a big burden to bear, really. All of us have to bear it just simply by existing, unfortunately. But today, you are not burdened with this particular decision. You let me make that decision for you, all right? And of course, I guarantee that you will love what I choose for you. How does that sound? Excellent, excellent. Well, let's begin, shall we? Have a seat. Mm -hmm. I just need a few things, it's alright. Just, you wait right there, I'll be just a moment. Let's see... Where did I put that in? Oh, yeah. Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, and then I just made... Where is my candle? Where do you want to know? Alright. Now we're going to start out. I need to get sort of a read on your energy. So in order to do that, I'm going to use this. Do you know what this is? Yes, it's a block of wood, but it's a very specific type of wood. This is called Palo Santo. And this wood is burned and the, the scent, the aroma, the incense from this bark is um, is quite intoxicating, quite purifying, quite revealing of one's inner self. So why don't you just hold still there for a moment and I'm just going to sort of move this around you. Yes, just take some deep breaths of this Palo Santo. We'll see if we can't discover what sort of tea that you need today. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. No, 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 I'm going to need something else, I'm going to need, I'm going to need to do something else, I'm going to need, mm. you know what, I need to, um, just take a bit of a closer look at you, if that's alright, just hold nice and still, darling, I just need to get a bit closer to you, just for a moment here, just so I can sort of really, um, yes, no, 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 we're going to need, we're going to need to just sort of take a closer peek here at your energy, just, oh, no, no, it's alright, it's alright, just hold still, Really? Fascinating. Fascinating. 
fascinating. Interesting, interesting. I don't know, it's alright, it's alright, darling. Don't don't worry about a thing. Just getting a good indication of your energy, the state of your soul, so to speak, so that I can best determine what sort of tea you'll need. This is um rather interesting. Very, very interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Hmm. Ah, I know where to start. Just one moment. Okay, let me go get your first ingredient. Just one moment. Let me see. Where did I put that? Yes, yes, that will do nicely. That will do quite nicely, I think. We need you a little bit, won't we? Just a little bit. Alright, here we are. Yeah, our first ingredient. This is called Creeping Buttercup. Creeping Buttercup, Creeping Buttercup. It's quite a, um, a resilient little flower. It has these lovely, lovely, tiny, delicate little yellow flowers on it. But it springs up all over the place in the summer in wild fields, along the roadside, anywhere where a plant can grow, you might find creeping buttercup. And creeping buttercup is, um, well, it's used for many, many different purposes, especially in sort of a, a tea or a tincture or things like that. Creeping buttercup helps remind us of our self-worth, helps us to accept ourselves as we are, and to not need the approval of outsiders. No one else can give you your sense of self-worth but you. And Creeping Buttercup helps us remember the joys of life, joy, happiness, a sense of childishness almost to playfulness. It's quite a lovely little flower. Quite a lovely flower. I think we'll start with just a little bit of that. Just a little bit of creeping buttercup. Mm. That should do it. Yes, not very much, just a little bit. A little bit of joy, happiness, childhood, whimsy, self-appreciation. Just a little bit of that, I think, that you need. All right. All right, there's our first ingredient. Hold on, let me... Let me think about where we should go after this. Let's see, I think we need perhaps a little bit of- Oh, I know. Hold on, one moment, one moment. Oh, let me put that one back. I'm not needing you anymore. Mm. No, 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 not yet, not yet. Ah, this one, this one, this, this. This is what we need. I use this one quite often. Quite often, this is one of my favorites. This is Lavender. Yes. A beautiful, beautiful bright purple flower with these tiny little petals, tiny little bunches of petals on them. And lavender is um, a quite aromatic flower, quite a strong flavor, so we're only going to be using a very little bit of it, a very little bit. We wouldn't want it to overpower everything. But lavender is excellent at helping you Calm down, helping to ease the mind, quiet a restless soul, heal anxiety or any sort of worries, things like that. That is what lavender is excellent at, so I think we'll need a nice hearty scoopful of that, don't you think? A nice hearty scoopful of that. Here we are. Just add that into here. So we've got our creeping buttercup and our lavender. I think that's a good place to start, don't you? Yes, I think so. I think that would be excellent. An excellent, excellent place to start. Let's see what else do you need. What else do you need? Mm, this is rather interesting. It's been a while since I found someone with such a complex energy. Generally, it's rather, it's rather simple to tell, really, what people need, but you... Mm, you're rather complex, aren't you? It's alright. We like complex. Well, I like complex, at least. Fascinating. Mm, 
fascinating, fascinating, fascinating to me to people who are as complex as you. All right. Well, there's our first two ingredients, but there's certainly more that we need. What do we need? What do we need? What do we need? What do we need? Ah, oh, clover. That's it. That's it. That is what we need. Give me just one moment. All right, just one moment. Let me find. Where did I put that? Clover. Ah, here we are. Clover, clover. We need to grind you up a little bit more, I think, too. See, sometimes we like to muddle things and sometimes we like to grind things up a little bit and make it into more of a very fine powder. Yes, there's not really a rhyme or reason as to which one you should do. It's just sort of instinct, I suppose. Vibes, you could say. Always trust the vibe. Always, always, always trust the vibe. So let's get a little bit of this, shall we? Just a little bit of this. Just a little bit of this one here. This clover. Now clover. Is a flower that um, it's rather sweet, quite quite a bright flavor. So it will work very well to sort of temper the strength of the lavender. And clover is a flower that is um, associated with prosperity, success, riches, those sorts of things, but also a sense of happiness and energy, a lightness in one step. So, add a little bit of this to do, just a little bit. But like I said, I do think we will need to grind it up just a little bit. So we'll put just a little bit of it in there. There we are, there we are. Just a little bit, just a little bit. There, that should work. Very nicely, very nicely. We'll start out to grind with the wooden one. Just to sort of get all of the juice mixing together the dried flowers. It releases the oils so much better when you grind them. There we are. Then we'll switch to this one. There we are. Excellent, excellent, excellent. This will be an excellent addition to our tea here for you. This is exactly what you need. Trust me, trust me. I've been doing this for many, 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 many years. I always know what someone needs. Even someone as complex as you. Not everyone always needs this many ingredients, but sometimes they do. Sometimes they do. There we are. Now let's see, what else do we need? What else do we need? Hmm. Ah, something over here. Hold on one moment. Okay, now where exactly was that? Ah, here we are, here we are. All right, I forgot about this. I forgot about this. This is very, very important, okay? I need you to just focus, focus on this little feather, okay? Just watch it wherever it goes, just very quickly. Yes, don't worry, don't worry. I'm not, nothing's wrong, nothing, nothing that can be fixed at least. Don't worry, just watch the feather as it goes around the screen. Just focus on the feather, okay? Just focus, 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 focus on this feather. Hmm. Right, okay, now I want you to hold on to this feather. Just hold it. You, you don't have to do anything. I mean, if you would like to, to play with it, to study it, to twirl it in your fingers, if you would like, you're, you're welcome to. You don't have to, but I just, I need you to hold on to this, okay? Okay, here you are. Just hold on to the feather. We need just another, let's see, what else do we need? What else do we need? Oh, hibiscus, obviously. Hibiscus. How could I forget hibiscus? One moment, please. You just sit there. Play, play, play with the feather. Mm -hmm. Just play with the feather. Hold on. Where did my hibiscus go? We can't have. No, that's the rhododendron. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Now this, 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 this is a very special blend. 
This is a very special blend that already has a few ingredients in it. And oh, are they powerful. I mean, really, they're quite, quite extraordinary if you ask me. Now, this is a blend of hibiscus petals. Hibiscus is a very strange, quite exotic plant. It doesn't grow naturally in this kingdom. We get it from Tivermac, I believe. Well, actually, I get it from an herbalist, and the herbalist gets it from Tivermac, I believe. From across the sea somewhere very, very, very far away. Hibiscus is a flower that is good for the heart, both physically for the strength of your heart, but also for love, purity, purification, keeping you healthy, preventing you from getting sick. And it also has been known to cause visions now and then. It can help increase clairvoyance, increase your connection to the spirits, per se. Not all the time, not all the time. Usually only if you're already sort of attuned to the world of the spirits. But it is, it is a lovely, 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 lovely flavor in tea. And like I said, very good for the heart. So that's our first ingredient that's in here. And there's also orange peel. Now, citrus in general is wonderful for purifying both the body and the soul, for getting rid of any sort of negative energies, things like that. It's also wonderful for energy, liveliness, and it can help attract love as well. Love, affection, any of those sorts of things that you may want. Now there's also some lovely rose hip in this tea. Rose hip is also known for attracting love. Not just romantic love, also friendship love, fealty, family love, all of those sorts of things. And something tells me that that may be of benefit to you. You specifically. Yes, yes, I think so. So I think we're going to need a little bit of this. Actually, maybe a little bit more than a little bit of this. It's quite a powerful blend. Definitely want to make sure. Also, the hibiscus flower is rather sweet. It's quite, quite a lovely full-bodied taste. And then the little tang from the citrus is um, quite delightful, really. Here we are. That should be... That should do it, I think. Let's just sort of muddle all of these together. Just sort of muddle all of these together. <laughs> Mix them up a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. There. There, 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 there. Now that is looking excellent, isn't it? Look at all of those beautiful flowers and herbs ready to refresh your soul. And it will taste quite good too. Of course it will taste good. I wouldn't serve you something that didn't taste good. That would be quite awful. Go through all this work and then make something that didn't taste nice. Don't you worry, this is going to taste wonderful. Just wonderful. Like I said, this is the tea that you need. If you just walked into a tea shop and were just handed a menu to decide for yourself, you would maybe get a tea that sounded nice to you, a tea that you maybe wanted, but it wouldn't be the tea that you needed. No, 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 no. This. This is the tea that you need. This, I believe, is exactly what your energy requires. I think so. It's still missing something. What is it missing? The hibiscus, the rose hip, the orange peel, the clover, the buttercup, the lavender. What else is it? What else is it? What else is it that you need? Hmm. one other thing that you need. One other thing, one other thing. This one is, um, it's a bit rare. In fact, it's very rare. In fact, there are quite a few other people 
in this city. Not just owners of those tea shops, but um, many, many, many other people who would love to get their hands on this item. So if you ever speak a word of seeing it, I will deny it to your grave. No, 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 not my grave, your grave. I will deny it to your grave. Do you understand? Okay. No, 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 no. You need it. Trust me, you need it. Just give me a moment, just one moment, all right? Just one moment. Oh, I believe I put it over here somewhere. It's a very, 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 very special. Mm, there we are. Ah, there we are. Like I said, you will not speak a word of this. Not a word of this little bottle here. I'm not going to tell you what's in it. That way I know that you can't speak a word of it. I suppose you could speak of a peculiar little bottle, but no one would really know what you meant. And those who might suspect, well, just best for everyone that you don't say anything, all right? Magic? Oh, goodness me, magic. Where would you get such a notion as that? No, of course none of this is magic. This is just the, the, the inherent abilities of plants and herbs and different perfectly natural, perfectly normal remedies. Yeah, like I said, I've, I've spent years studying all of these things. Yes, of course, there's nothing magic about it at all. Also, between you and me, magic is something quite regulated in this kingdom, especially the closest to get to the kingdom, to the, uh, the uh, capital of the kingdom. So, if it's all the same to you, I would prefer if we didn't use that little M word around here. No, 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 no. There's nothing magical here. It's all, um, just very natural. Right? Right. All right. Just a few little drops. There. Now, this is the tea that you need. This is exactly, exactly the tea that you need. Whatever is plaguing your soul, the burdens that you carry, the secrets that you hold, and the secrets that you are trying to reveal. This is the tea that you need. Just a moment, please. Just a moment, just a moment. We've got to clean up. We can't just leave all of these things sitting out, especially this one. Hold on, just one moment. So we'll put that one back over here, and then this one over here. Where did my little teaspoon go? Here we are, here we are, here we are, here we are. All right, all right, all right, all right. Are you ready? Are you ready for the tea to start brewing? Now, of course, it still needs to steep for a little while, so we'll just put some of it right here in this little cup. A tin cup. Yes, of course. The finest tea tastes exactly the same, whether it drank out of fine porcelain or a tin cup. Here we are. Now we're just going to take a little bit of this right in here. There we are. Just get a good, a good amount of that tea right in there. All of those different ingredients. There we are. Just make sure it's a good collection of all of those ingredients in there for you. And now we can start at steeping. Just one moment. One moment. One more moment, please. Let's see.
There. Now this is the tea for you. This is exactly what your soul needs. And what your palate will quite enjoy as well. Don't you worry, don't you worry. Wonderful instincts of yours coming into this particular tea shop. Here at the Golden Leaf, we know what you want and what you need. All right, we'll let that steep for just a moment. Just for a little bit, just for a little bit. Now, how is that feather doing? Are you, are you having fun playing with the little feather? Good, good, good. I think it's safe. I can take it back now, all right? Thank you ever so much. Thank you for playing with my feather. It's quite a lovely feather, isn't it? Yes, quite a lovely little feather. No, don't worry. Like I said, everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is, um... Yeah, yeah, everything is perfectly fine now. Perfectly, perfectly, perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. I mean, if you wanted to keep watching the feather, if you wanted to, it wouldn't uh, do any harm, I suppose. If you wanted to just... Keep watching the feather. Yes, 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 I think. I think that that would be a very good idea. Let's get it a little closer. And then a little further away. And a little closer. And a little further away. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Just, you know, sort of keep your eyes on the feather. Just for a little bit, if you don't mind. I think that that would be quite good, quite Good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. Not to worry. I think, I think that you will be just fine now. Shall we check your tea? Oh, what a lovely color. There. Now, I do believe that your tea is ready. Here you are, here you are. Payment? Oh, that's right. That is something that most people ask for, isn't it? Um, you see, the thing is, there's, um, there's coins, you know, there's, there's the sort of normal types of currency that people might carry, especially in a very large trading city like this. And there's other types of payment that um, are a bit more difficult to quantify, I suppose. A bit less tangible. Don't worry about it, I've already taken my payment. Let's just leave it at that. Why don't you just leave it at that? You go right ahead and just sip your tea, all right? I promise that is the tea that you need. And what do you think of that? Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. I'm so glad that it is to your taste. And I hope that it is also a boon for the soul. It certainly will be, I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Or your money back. Though I guess you didn't pay in money, did you? Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. I'm sure. This tea is exactly what you needed, isn't it? Hmm. A traveler, right? Yes. Quite a well-versed traveler. Quite a fascinating journey that you're on, isn't it? Certainly, certainly. Rather important, too, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. Yes, that's definitely, definitely the tea for you. I hope that that helps to um, soothe your soul just a bit. It looks like your soul could maybe use a little bit of soothing. That should do the trick. It really, really should. You know, if you'd like, I could um, back up 
the rest of this for you, so you can take it with you. If you think that it might, um, might help. Of course, of course, of course. Let me go get a little bag, shall I? I have some somewhere around here. Ugh, this place is an absolute mess. I don't know how I find anything, really. Oh, let's see. Where are my little bags? Just a little bag, little tea bag. We'll just put the rest of that tea. It should be enough for another serving at some point in here. I would suggest perhaps not drinking the rest of it today. Maybe not even tomorrow. Just, um, just in case, just in case. But after that, the day after that, that would be an excellent time to have the rest of your tea, all right? That would be an excellent time, so let me just take the rest of this here and we'll just scoop it into this little bag for you. There we are. Now that should be enough for another cup of tea in a few days, like I said. In a few days. You can take this with you as well, all right? And there you are, love. While you sit and um, enjoy that tea. Yes. Like I said, hopefully it does wonders for that very, very important soul of yours. Now, if you need anything else, I'll be... Um, I'll be around, of course, but I think that that tea should give you everything that you need. Wonderful. Well, thank you ever so much for coming into the Golden Leaf. Hopefully we'll see you again next time you come through Hazelbend. Hmm? <laughs> well, hopefully. The Golden Leaf is always here to give you exactly 